When criminals are confronted by cops, most usually surrender and give themselves up. But some criminals prefer to try and run from police. But unfortunately for them, it rarely ends well. Here are three insane cases where criminals thought escape was an option. In May of 2021, 30-year-old Josie Amann allegedly followed a child in a Walmart and assaulted her when he saw the opportunity. After the attack, the child immediately told her mother, who went on to confront the attacker. Josie fled the scene. Five months later, cops are called to Josie's day job to try and confront the suspected criminal. Does the name Josie ring a bell? Yes. Is, is he here? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, I gotta talk to him. When Josie arrives, he immediately appears uncomfortable. In May, we got a complaint from a parent and a young girl at the Walmart in Alaska that involves you. Anything ring a bell to that? Okay. Have you ever been at the Walmart where uh, you got chased out of the store? No. No? Okay. So we've, we've got video of you getting chased out of Walmart by a, a mom. I don't know. Huh? No, I don't know. Okay, I, I do. His wide, static stance may suggest tension, and he seems to be keeping his facial expression as neutral as possible. Predictably, Josie denies all knowledge of this incident. Watch how he reacts when he's shown some hard evidence. Would you agree that this is you? No? Okay. Is this your truck? Definitely not. No? Is that something you've ever driven? No, I don't even have a topper on my truck. Okay. I just send a cab. You don't think that resembles you in the slightest? No? I'm not gonna agree to that. Josie manages to keep his expression relatively neutral, even when looking at a picture of himself at the crime scene. However, when the purchase at a subway is mentioned, there's an obvious change in his body language. He begins to blink rapidly, which can be an indicator of stress or dishonesty. He does attempt to act surprised when the officer brings up that someone had used his debit card in the store, but the cop doesn't buy it for a second. No? Okay. So we reviewed video and watched the suspect of this whole thing prior to this incident with the juvenile, was inside Subway, bought a sub sandwich. Huh? No? Okay, turn around, put your hands behind your back. <laughs> Dominic, you got taser? Josie was charged with the first-degree sexual assault of a girl under the age of 13 and a misdemeanor charge for resisting an officer. He is currently awaiting trial. But not all criminals run because they're faced with hard evidence. Some just make very dumb decisions. This was the case for Jason Massey. Massey is a passenger in his friend's car, and they're pulled over for speeding. The stop seems normal initially, with the driver giving a good reason for being above the speed limit and handing over his license willingly. I'm Officer Miller Reason with the traffic stop. Stops the speed. Any reason for the speed? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get home. My, my little sister was at home by herself, but I was trying to get home. Okay. Do you have a driver's license on you? Thank you. Are you any weapons at all in the car? Or? No? Okay. Things become more suspicious when dispatch lets the officer on the scene know that the license plates don't match the car. The cop has already smelled the scent of marijuana, and the plates are a big red flag, so he calls for assistance. Once they have backup, they coordinate their approach. When they reach the vehicle, pay extra attention to Massey, who's in the front of the car passenger's side. How's it going? You guys got IDs on you? You have an ID on your partner? You don't? What's your name? Hey man, I'm not driving. I just say you're not driving. Can I get you to step out real quick? Yeah. I'll, I'll explain everything to you, okay? Hi, bro. Really? Hi. Hey. What's your last name, partner? All right, man. Um, I'm just gonna put you in handcuffs real quick. You're not under arrest, okay? You're not. You're not under arrest. Don't resist me. Don't resist me, man. 
Well, once again, the driver is complying. Massey has a defensive reaction to the police officer speaking to him. He immediately says that he's not the driver. Attempts to deflect like this usually suggest a person is hiding something. The cop tries to reassure Massey that things are fine and that he doesn't have to be scared. But Massey still seems nervous. While the driver is being searched, the cop asks Massey his name. Unfortunately for Massey, he makes a very dumb mistake. All right, what's your last name? What's that? Nicholson. Nicholson? Can you spell it out for me, please? You gotta speak up, man. M I C K E S O N. E S O N. Mickelson? Yeah. All right. You said Mickelson, now you're saying Mickelson. Mickelson. Spell it out for me. M I C K E L S O N. All right. Last time you didn't say L. I already know you're lying. I already know you're lying. No, I said. What are we gonna do? Oh. Hey, he's trying to run. Hey. Go, 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 man. He's taking off, he's taking off. Passengers hopped in the driver's seat, he's taking off. Don't, don't do it, man. Don't do it. You're gonna get tased. Stop. Stop. Having spelled his own fake name wrong, Massey is on the run with the third occupant of the car still on the back seat. What might not be clear from the footage is that Massey is hit with a taser as he speeds away. The car doesn't get him far as, during the pursuit, Massey hits a vehicle in a gas station parking lot. The driver of that vehicle is unharmed, but because of the collision, Massey chooses to abandon the car and flee on foot. Pay attention to his path through the bushes. It'll be important soon. A uh, male Hispanic driver with long curly hair. The cop exits his vehicle and aims his firearm at Massey, who gives up his attempts to escape. When Massey mentions that he has asthma, this particular officer's response is unprofessional. Hey, show me your get out! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Put your hands behind your back. Hey, bro, we got pain. I don't care. Most of the time that Massey is on the ground, he appears to be in pain. In this case, his discomfort seems genuine as he makes no further attempts to run. Taser probes can be seen in Massey's arm, fired into the car when he's sped away. An officer comes to check Massey's condition while another searches his bag. The bag contains marijuana and live ammunition. Crab right, got the driver detained in her squad. Uh, detained at hey. Where's the vehicle? Please help me. You're over here. Uh, 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 Three prior on the north uh, side. Yeah, yeah, please. Please help me. All right, please. man. Why did you do that, please. shit? Uh, uh, I told you. I told you. That one is tased. We get rescued our location. Please, and a supervisor. Copy. This is 114. Can you make Green Briar right. on the north side? They tased one. No, I tried to tase him when he took off. Copy. I'm already in power. 35, for a hey, I told you to calm down. And look what you did. You got yourself in more trouble. All over a little bit of weed. Car hit by the suspect vehicle. No injuries. Please, please. They're so bad. Alright man, you got any weapons on you? No. Are you injured at all? Yes. Where, okay. do you, where are you hurting? I'm whole body hurting. Okay, set up that victim vehicle. <sighs> My whole body hurts, man. Can y'all please get my... Yeah, yeah. Where did you ditch that stuff? the location that where that vehicle was struck. That's all in there. What? Hey. Listen, I'm around my neck. 23 dispatch. We, we are on the oh, north no, side listen. of 1405 16th Street. Or, yeah, I'm sorry, Emerson. My neck. They north side of 1405 house. Emerson. 
day. She lived right around the car. All right, what's, we could also use another right squad to check the area he ran no. because he probably threw something. Uh, can y'all help me? 33 is on her way oh. there to help track. Okay, I did get him actually. You yeah. did. It's one of my arm too. At this point, Massey finally gives the cops his real name. An officer asks Massey why he would run away when the situation was calm. Do you know who he is yet? No. Do you have an ID anywhere? If I what's the address you're out Jesse. with. Jesse what? Jason. Jason? Jason what? Massey. Jason Massey? Okay, right, so this Mickelson call you're giving me this BS oh, What's your last name? Massey. Spell it out for me. I think that... Who? You just I want to have rescue come to your What's your first name? Jason? J-A-S-O-N? No. J-A-Y. I think that was the female in the car. Yeah, it was. While he says it's because he lives in Georgia rather than locally, dispatch has the real answer. All we're going to have you do is step out and you pull this dumb crap. You make it so much worse for yourself. I don't get it. I literally asked you, I said, everything's calm. Can I tell you the truth, officer? That would be refreshing. I'm not from out here. It just. Are Georgia. you from Illinois? I'm from Georgia. You're from Georgia. Be, I'm from here, but I live in Georgia. What is your okay. idea? What's your idea? I don't have an idea. I really Never don't. Have you ever been arrested in Wisconsin? Out. I just got out. Uh, Massey has a felony 99 for armed robbery out of Racine County Sheriff. It was entered on 9 7 of 2021. He does come back with a Racine address with the 20316 Boulevard. During a search of the area, police found a firearm in the bushes that Massey had passed through on foot. While the driver only received citations and the female passenger denied all knowledge and was released, things were much worse for Massey. Massey pled guilty to fleeing and eluding an officer, hit and run, carrying a concealed weapon, and one count of bail jumping. He was sentenced to three and a half years in jail and will serve an additional four years for the armed robbery. Massey may have made an idiotic mistake, but this next suspect makes him look like a genius by comparison. The next suspect is 30-year-old criminal Anthony T. Gaines, but what he doesn't realize is that these officers already know who he is. What happens next might be the strangest encounter ever caught on a body cam. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to lie about anything I do. So, when I call late, I'm like, man, well, late, man, your son's and took my phone. I'll charge. So, they actually did let you in to charge it? No, it's right there on the outside of the house. Right? Oh, so you left it there? I left right here. I didn't go that far. Okay. I just went like two, two percent. Okay, I, I didn't know you charged on the outside on the porch. Yeah, but I, I, I got know, you now. I'm tracking. I never went inside their house at all. Man. all right, I never cool. went and invaded their house at all. I would never. Oh, okay, so you left it there. I came back and went there. No, I can't. Yeah, right. Right. Long story short, Boom. go charge my phone up. Set it on top of the grill. You cannot. You can't. Look. Set it on top of the grill. I go to the side of the house. They had a chair on the side of the house. I sit right there. They was moving across the street. So it's sitting kind of going where I can see the angle. You got these loud ass little midget ass dogs that bark at people. So I know when somebody come up, the dogs gonna start barking. So when the dogs started barking, I'm looking. I'm like, what the fuck Gotta be somebody over there. Because I'm looking kind of corner. So, and I'm so you ain't got your phone, right? No, they got my They got my okay. phone. Okay. All right, let me get him a Y'all just hang tight. Let me get him a call that's real why, quick. That's why I kept on calling the lady to check my phone back. She's right. like, she on the way. I'm like, man. So did they like take it and put it inside? Yeah, and they took, yeah, because how you gonna get out the charger? They try to say they don't got it. How old are these kids? How old are these kids? I don't know. About. It ain't got to be exact. I don't know. About. Okay. All right. One, one, one of them, whoever the gay one is, is he sweet as hell. Whoever the sweet one is, he the oldest one. And then, uh, Dennis, you know, it's the oldest one. Well, let me get him a call and see what's, okay. Let me get him a call, all right. While Gaines may seem relaxed, Gaines' overly familiar behavior can be a telltale sign that he has something to hide. The cops present are already aware that there's a warrant out for his arrest. They make their move. Hey, come here real quick. Step out. Step out. Yeah, I should just say, man, just, hey, yeah. just don't I'm going to detain you right yeah, now. Yeah. You're, not, you're not arrested. You're not being under arrest. No, no, no. Just until we find out everything is going on. Um, did anyone hey, do why it you should... them? Huh? I said I didn't want to do it in front of them. Right. See what we're saying? We'll just set your mind here for just so your AC and I, I, I didn't I didn't lock those. Okay. He, he's not arrested, he's just being detained until we Hey, let me grab his phone.
With Gaines cuffed, one officer searches him and retrieves what looks to be the case for a ring from his pocket. The other officer opens it and finds incriminating evidence inside. Gaines tries to play dumb, but the lie is obvious. Hey, get home, get out of my home. Uh, my money right there. Where? Right there in that bag. Okay, all right. Make sure I get my money. Bro. Where's your money at? In your book bag? Yeah. You open this already? What's up? No, I haven't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know what it is. Oh, uh, you know what it is when you feel it's in your pocket, man. Just wanna know. Gaines makes the questionable decision to make a run for it while cuffed. The rest of this encounter is nothing short of insanity. It's in your pocket. Hey, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. We got one running. He's all right, so I'm gonna get him. We got body cameras ah! on. You stream all you want to. We got body cameras on. Shock me! And you shock me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, we've seen that before. Here, let's go, let's get up. For context, this arrest happened after the death of George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter protests. As the officer mentions, this wasn't his first time seeing this kind of behavior, which suggests that the offenders were trying to use the politically charged climate to their advantage too. Gaines tries to pull this stunt for more than 30 minutes, but the act breaks for a moment when the arresting officer has a laugh at his expense. Okay, well, let's go, let's get up. Yeah. Hold on my heart, I got heart surgery, bro. All right, so you got a few charges now, okay? That's all right, we can put it, we can get a... I ain't lying, look at my chest, bro. I see you, you shouldn't have ran. Out, bro. You shouldn't have ran. You can act like you're going to pass out all you want. I've seen this before. Cut it. I've seen this before. Yeah. Okay. Turn me over, bro. Turn me over, bro. I'm coming out with you. I think you can run it, cuz. Bitch, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, bro. I'm a crap. I'm gonna come up, bro. All right, all right. You all right, just bang it. my head, bro. Damn. All right, stand up, please. Fuck. Nigga, bang my head right there on that metal, right. bro. Come on. come on, stand up. Don't make any harder than it is. Come on. Now that he's committed to the act, Gaines starts demanding an ambulance and at every opportunity does whatever he can to make cops appear abusive. Don't make any harder than it is. Come on, stand up. I ain't making it harder. You just whoop my ass on yeah, that motherfucking yeah. pole, dog. We're gonna help you stand up, okay? No, nah, bro. You just. No, give me an ambulance. No, give me an ambulance. Stand up. You gotta get in the car. Call for the ambulance, bro. Get in the car. That ain't procedures, bro. Y'all breaking the KRS code, man. Come on, yeah, no. Come on, we got you, man. We got you. Oh, bro, stand up. I don't feel right. Okay. I need some water. All right. Well, stand up. So I need get some water, bro. You gotta get in the car first. No, I don't. Come on. I know the ambulance is in the KRS codes is, man. My mom works for the Come system, on. man. Get in the car. I've been inside that juvenile system for too long. Go ahead, you can go. No, no, no. We're trying to pick you up, man. No, we want you to be down here, okay? I stand up, please. I can't. Y'all ain't gonna bang my head. Devo, to... you don't stand on your head. Devo, your... call my lawyer. Call in my mouth. Stand up. I know she is. Yeah, she worked for the system. Don't worry about it. She worked for the courthouse. Watch out. Okay, please stand Watch out. Please stand out. Please stand out so we can have you in the car. No, we can get you fired. Get your ass off. Ah! 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 Oh, shit. Ah! My head. Devo, we got it, Devo. Ah, Devo! You get it. Ah! 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 No, he pushed his way out. You just stay over there. Mama! 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 We got body cameras. You ain't gonna get body cameras, Hoptail! Again, trying to appear a victim, Gaines makes a final attempt at persuading the cops. Told you! Get the off me, guy! Calm down! 
Don't be with the white officers they talk about, bro. Hey. Don't be with I, the Black listen, Lives Matter officers, bro. Just stand up and get in the car for Stop, me, I can't stand up. You keep f***ing okay. in my head. Why can't you my stand up? My up. Nobody touched your head. You kicked yourself First out of the door. First of I'm about to pass out. I keep trying to tell you. Okay, stand up so we can get you out. It's I need some water. I'm finna die out. This cut's too tight. Now bang my head. Now throw me out this bitch. Are y'all ready? Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna put you in the car, okay? Nope, no, no, ah, my ankle. Oh, sh <laughs> You wanna cuff his legs? No, well, I don't, we don't have, I don't have my any legs. My legs, didn't I? You caught cuff. him. They just cuffed my legs. They Kick you. Get him in, let's get him in. The suspect tends the police closed his head in the door of their patrol car, but he stops faking it briefly to yell at an officer. He then claims to have a pacemaker, briefly fakes passing out, and acts like the police are breaking every bone in his body. Call the ambulance, man. We want to get you in the car, okay? Bro, now keep talking to me in the ambulance. I got a f***ing pacemaker, b Okay. Do you know what a basement is? You're not making it easier. I'm not trying to be... You're not making it Why don't you just sit in the car? We're trying to get you in the car. You don't want to get in. You don't, you don't want to work with us, man. We're trying to help you. Bro, you done bang my head. We was the first one to bang all my you head had to, time. All you got to do the is sit in the car. right here. Choke this on me right here. You bang my head and twist my goddamn ankle right there. Listen, he was right there watching. Y'all yeah, pull hey. me through this motherfucker. Uh, Fell hard right here. Y'all see what the fuck happened. Okay, well, we have, everybody out here have a body camera on. You know that, right? Everybody out here. You just make sure you got your zone. Everybody, everybody's everybody on. Got just make sure it's on. That's okay, yes, sir. So That's all you gotta say. Just make sure it's on. Yes, sir. Oh, right, so let's get in the car for us. I need an ambulance. I told you. It's gonna go easy or hard way. See, that's what I'm talking about. I asked y'all for the ambulance. Y'all think I'm playing games because y'all think so I'm gonna get you? What we asked you, but you want to Sir, I am. I need the help right now. Are we trying to get you help? You're not helping. My fluids is low. You're not helping us. Cops catch him smiling when they agree to bring an ambulance, so he threatens a lawsuit, alludes to there being consequences if he dies in police custody, and claims to have history with one cop. Now, just guess what, though? If I die on your hands, then what? Yes, ma'am. Ask somebody, ask somebody ain't give me no water yet, cuz. Why ain't I give me no water? I told you I need some water. We don't have any water. I can go get some water. I'm not gonna leave you here. You got the four officers. You okay. smart ass. Right. You the same one that pulled me over there one night. Okay. Harassed me and Okay. By being black. Okay. Young black brother, man. You don't remember me? No, sir. Running through the AR? No, sir. You do remember me. Not at you remember all. me. Hmm? With that big ass AR, you remember me. No, sir. Yeah, your bitch ain't ruined. Mm, okay. Yeah, you'll be green. Really? While Gaines continues making a scene, two officers search his belongings. One admits to his mistake when Gaines was first cuffed. No, 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 he had on cuffs. I wasn't gonna let my dog out on him. He had cuffs on. You did the right thing, man. Uh, I don't, this, is, this isn't my car, so. Okay, cool. Hey, make sure you got gloves on from that red thing inside of it. It, it appeared to be. A bunch of crystal rocks. That. Yeah. I knew something was in it, but I just didn't. Right. I didn't want to check them. And I probably should have waited till I said anything about that. Yeah. Sorry. So, my bad. That's all good. I saw I saw. He wasn't going to get far. Huh? He wasn't going to get far with cuffs on. I don't know what he's thinking. He was yellow and white, and he's chilling that pocket of the cone. Yep. I didn't want to say anything. I saw that baggie. Yeah. We didn't check his bag in there. Yep. He's got a gun. Guarantee it. While one of the cops feels certain Gaines will have a weapon, they don't find one among his belongings. Lucky try to write. Lucky tries to be a rapper by writing rhymes. What was this just inside of the Yeah, it's just right here. Okay. That was that I'm putting this in the same bag, then we can move it later. Is in your trunk? Your trunk? Are y'all okay, ma'am? Just want to continue to check on you. I know you're pregnant, so. 27 minutes into the encounter, and Gaines is still lying on the floor, even though the ambulance he requested has arrived. A member of his family arrives and attempts to talk some sense into him. She seems confident that his mother will set him straight. Mm -hmm. On this side of my head. This is my nephew. Put right his mom on the way. Okay. He'll get up for his mom. His mom on the way. She's coming right down. <clears throat> Okay. We just we don't want to keep trying to get him in the car and he end up hurting. But you stand my head in the goddamn dog. You racist ass. Tony, just be man, quiet. No, man. What I tell you? He keep acting like he's trying to help me. But be quiet. Okay? Stop acting like you was trying to help me, bro. You want to try to help me? 
Yo, wait till the mama gets out of here. FX is recording. We got a value here. I understand, but his mama gets out of here. I don't care about y'all having that volume. Don't worry, another one's gonna get in there, though. Huh? One way or another, he's gonna get in. Oh, he's gonna get in when his mama gets out. I promise you, we'll get him in there. One way I'm going to get in. I promise you that. The paramedics on site are also unable to convince Gaines to comply. Although Gaines is more than happy to repeat his list of complaints to the ambulance crew. That bad is cuffed on me. This arm hurt, hurt. I can't hear nothing about that. My forehead hurt. The top of my scalp hurt because the way I fell out this fucking car. Dude slammed my head right here in his left side. My head got twisted on his left side. First head got rammed, then tried to put me in the car on the right side. Off that bar right there by the passenger front seat. I got a lot of to do, bro. Run no cameras, bro. So how about we get this And I try to get some water. And I try to get this stretcher out. And I try to rub on that. How about we get this stretcher out? I need some water, please. I know I need a lot to drink. As a result of this arrest, Gaines was charged with third degree assault of a police officer, second degree fleeing or evading police, resisting arrest, and possession of meth. Shockingly, in early 2022, Anthony Gaines was again arrested and charged with two counts of murder, robbery, burglary, tampering with evidence, and four counts of wanton endangerment. The outcome of the trial is yet to be determined.